So when it comes to looking for a laptop or a desktop, it can feel very overwhelming. There's a jungle of options. And so we're here at the CES Huawei booth, checking out the MateBook Series X Pro, a very competitive laptop that's packed full of features. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at the pros and the cons, coming up. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. A lot goes into building a successful YouTube channel, learning video editing, photography, graphic design, and smart business skills. Skillshare gives you access to over 25,000 online classes so you can develop the skills you need to succeed and crush your goals this year. I love getting access to classes from social media experts like Guy Kawasaki and YouTubers like Thomas Frank's class on productivity or Sarah Dietschy's class on how to vlog. Skillshare is also super affordable with annual subscriptions coming in at less than $10 a month. Join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare and the first 500 Think Media subscribers to use the link in the description will get a two month free trial. Just click the link in the description to get started today. Hey, what's up? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And we're here at CES at the Huawei booth, checking out the MateBook X Pro. Now, this really stood out to me because essentially what you can see Huawei doing here is making a competitive, ultra portable, high powered notebook ultrabook that is kind of taking a shot at a MacBook Pro, right? And with this laptop coming in at $1,500 for the peaked out model, the specced out model, that's that's almost half the price of a MacBook Pro. But what are the specs and what are the features? Let's dive into them. So the first thing to know is that there's two different options here. First of all, we've got the $1,200 model, and I would really recommend though the $1,500 model here in the US. Of course, for specific prices, check out links in the description below. But the reason why is when you step up to $1,499, you get a dedicated NVIDIA graphics card, which is gonna be a big deal when it comes to video editing. So that's included in there. Um, you also get the i7 processor. And so with the lower model, you could probably definitely tackle some HD video editing, but I wouldn't hesitate for editing some 4K footage on this laptop when it's fully specced out. Additionally, you've got really a 14 inch laptop with almost completely bezel-less. So a MacBook, you know, the one I edit on is 15 inch. At 14 inch, you aren't losing too much screen and this thing is super light. It comes in at 1.33 kilograms and uh, about two and a half pounds, dead light, super awesome. And in the performance model, you get an MVME PCIe SSD at 512 gigabytes. What's that mean? A lot of space for your footage, although of course, if you're editing, you're definitely gonna wanna add an external hard drive, but that's even a faster SSD than you would find in other computers. You also have got some great sound built in with two um, sound speakers on the side and a subwoofer apparently included somewhere in there for a great sound experience. And then on the performance model, you're also up at 16 gigabytes. That's definitely what I'd recommend for video editing, editing Photoshop, Lightroom, content like that. And then your battery life. This thing can go for 12 hours playing 1080p video. So you hop on a plane, fly international, watch Netflix the whole time up to 12 hours. Or if you're just doing email and word processing, you could even probably get longer battery life than that. So I think for content creators, entrepreneurs, this is a great option. Definitely higher performance at $1,500 but much cheaper than other things on the market. Portable, lightweight, able to do some heavy lifting as far as content creation, but also get your work done, your business done, and things like that. We also see an interesting placement of the webcam right at the uh, middle of the keyboard. And so that's gonna give you an interesting up angle. However, it is also kind of nice for privacy. You ever wonder if people are watching you on your webcam, throw that sticky note up on there. That way you can control whether it's on or off in a scary Alexa world where everyone is listening to our conversations and watching what we're doing. Now, what about the I.O. ports? Well, on the left side here, you've got your headphone jack, as well as two USB-C new school imports. And then on the right side of the laptop, you've got an old, uh, old school USB full size port. I like that because of course, in the newer computers, when you can't get to that old school and you forget a dongle or you don't have that converter, it kind of can be frustrating, so it still gives you that. And then one thing to note is that it's gonna charge through that USB-C port with the cable that they provide. And they're trying to be even more competitive by when you pick up one of these laptops, they give you a year of Office 365 
for free, which is definitely a target to business-minded content creators and entrepreneurs that want to be producing work and a dongle. So you don't have to buy something third party to get your HDMI port, to get extra ports uh, that is included right with it. And so definitely a sweet feature from the Matebook X Pro. And then probably one of my final favorite things about this is that the screen is actually a 3-2 resolution, whereas a lot of times most laptops are kind of a 16 by 9 or more of a widescreen. This one actually gives you a lot of uh, space for working on documents or whatever else, and it's also touchscreen. And so that's an advantage over non-touchscreen models out there on the market. So not only can you use your trackpad, but if you want to jump into touchscreen and have that versatility, it's got that for you as well. Now, as far as my final thoughts go, being here at CES and getting my hands on the Matebook, it definitely is a pretty impressive unit. Nice build quality, great to feel it. And ultimately, you can see what Huawei is doing here. They're being very competitive by packing a lot of specs, a lot of performance, and a lot of features in a reasonable price, especially compared to other brands. And so if you actually want to check out some of our other favorite tech, some of the cool new releases, camera drops here at CES, we have a whole series out. So click or tap the YouTube card to go watch that, and we'll link to it in the description as well. Question of the day, are you thinking about upgrading your computer or laptop this year, specifically for video editing? And what brand are you looking at the most? Let me know in the comment section below.